بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی ہیو دا لیب اور ٹیسلڈ کیپ ٹرانسفارمیشن اینڈ پرنسپل کمپوننٹ انالیسس وی ول فالو اے ٹائم لائن ایز وی ول انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ اے فیچر اسپیس از اینڈ وٹ از مینٹ بائی ٹیسلڈ کیپ ٹرانسفارمیشن وٹ از مینٹ بائی پی سی اے ڈیٹ از پرنسپل کمپوننٹ انالیسس and then we will perform principal component analysis and tessled cap transformation in erdos imagine and visually interpret and we will also see how the two bands they correlate in the feature space and in tessled cap transformation and principal component analysis and then we will be finally concluding our lab so as a first step we need to understand what a feature space is or what is a feature space i have opened up an image over here now at y axis i have a band let's suppose that is band y at x axis i have a band that is band x now if you plot the dn values of a particular cell on band with band x on x axis and band y on y axis so as a result you will get a feature space like this so this feature space is used to analyze the remote sensing of various feature it is used to interpret which feature stands where how the features they are correlated what is the relationship <clears throat> between the two features right so this is a basic feature space we we must have a band on x axis a band on y axis and then we have to plot the dn values right so this is the basic of feature space we will try to generate some feature space in erdos imagine now this next thing what is tessled cap transformation and what is actually principal component analysis we will discuss the theory first and then we will perform the lab practically so a tessled cap transformation it is simply a plot of red and ir reflectance here you can see that on x axis i have red reflectance on y axis i have near infrared reflectance now this plot because of its shape is called as tessled cap here we have a soil line and here we have full vegetation cover here we have partial vegetation cover so this graph due to its shape is called as tessled cap now let's uh, apply or practically apply tessled cap transformation in erdos imagine and see that how the red and near infrared reflectance looks like in erdos imagine add your data set for example i have atlanta tm image <clears throat> now this image is composed of six bands what i have to do in order to calculate tessled cap transformation i have to go to the raster section go to the spectral section and click on the tessled cap raster spectral and tessled cap now this tessled cap will allow me to derive certain indexes brightness greenness wetness or yellowness now here you have to input your imagery here you have to specify your output file tct and once you have specified you have to specify your sensor here and then tessled cap coefficients one thing to note that is different sensors they have different tessled cap coefficients as you may have covered in the lecture now here let's set 4 tm that is 6 band 5 tm that is 6 band so the next thing is to declare the output and click okay this is a method to calculate the tessled cap transformation in erdos imagine now here we have the output of tessled cap transformation we will analyze this output but first let's go to the raster section and in the supervised section and feature space image now this feature space image is actually very important 
it allows us to draw a feature space like this right so here in adas imagine we have to go to the raster section we have to go to the supervised section and click on the fe feature space now in this feature space image we have to input our image go to the raster section and in raster go to the supervise and click feature space image once you click on the feature space image a window like this will appear here you have to specify your input raster layer and output root name for example atlanta feature space or fsp right now here you can see that all the bands they will be calculated with the other band first band will be compared with the second first with third first with fourth first with fifth and first with sixth similarly all other bands they will be evaluated for the feature space we have to specify this and click okay when the process will be completed we will have some feature spaces ready now once the process has been completed we will see a successful dialog just close it and open the raster layer in the raster layer browse to the folder where this has been created now here you can see that all the bands feature space has been calculated for instance in our case third is red fourth is nir you can just simply click third and fourth feature space and click okay uncheck this imagery and fit layer to window now here you can see that a feature space has been generated for the third and the fourth band right i will go back to the lecture now here now here you can see a picture that represents third and the fourth channel feature space now here you can see that this is our soil line and these are area of healthy vegetation and these are the partial vegetation so this is a way to interpret tesselled cap transformation